$1,054.37. That was the exact number staring back at me at the Hawk register after the a cashier swiped my card. At that moment, uh, Saturday, about a week and a half ago, I knew that I had to change something quick so I could use all my meal points before the end of the semester. I began to live a new lifestyle, one where I no longer cared about how much I spent, but more about if I was spending enough in order to use all the points that I had, I had to buy at the beginning of the semester. This also, this uh, fear of using of points going unused seemed perfectly normal. All my friends were talking about the same exact dilemma. They all had to get their points done before that semester, before they were all taken away. And it wasn't for a few nights, it wasn't a few, it took a few nights for me to realize, but then I began to think, why does the administration take away the points? Why do the students allow that? So I began to conduct research on the topic of meal points, and I was able to put together a plan that allowed Pepperdine students to feel more comfortable with the total amount of points they have at the end of the semester, so uh, because they have a new opportunity to help their own fellow classmates. Um, I called this plan Meal Points for Posse, and it is a plan that's going to strengthen our uh, campus community by uh, reducing wastefulness, assisting, financially assisting the underprivileged, and uh, fulfilling the Pepperdine mission. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to identify the problems that I see on Pepperdine today, uh, introduce my plan, and then carefully lay out how and why you guys should all help. So before I get into uh, my statistics, you guys have all seen the craziness going on right now in the Hawk, the Nature's Edge, the Cap Waves Cafe. People are buying up so much food right now to try to get all their points out of their accounts because they're trying to make their points worthwhile. Um, before I, I'm going to give you guys some statistics on basically what percent of the school has this problem. But first, I want you to pay attention to the asterisk right here in the middle. Uh, Pepperdine's saying that on average you spend about eight points per meal, and that goes into a lot of my uh, calculations. Um, the next thing I want to define is the danger zone, and that's basically I gave, I calculated uh, with the amount of days of school left, I calculated maybe a number that would be good that you could possibly get all your points uh, comfortably out of your account. And if you have basically over 100 more than the number I calculated, you're in the danger zone. So um, the, on the 30th, I went to the Hawk and I was able to interview and survey about 35 different people. And uh, in this, this there was about 28 days left of school, so you're thinking eight meals, $24 per day, so you multiply those two numbers, they should have around $672 left in their account. So the people that I would consider in the danger zone are anybody uh, the fourth bar over and beyond, so $762 and beyond, so these people right here. Um, the next day I went to the Waves Cafe. Here I was able to survey 100 people in just 50 minutes at 6 p.m. Um, for today, the optimal amount of points was 632 because they had passed uh, three meals already, so basically like 27 days, uh, 26 days left instead of 27, but it was the 27th day before that in school. So, um, 100 points more than 632. Anybody in the 700, 750 range and above, these people, they're in my danger zone. So when we put this information together, the Hawk data, about 15 out of 35 of these people uh, were in the danger zone, so that's 43%. And um, in the Waves Cafe, uh, 42 out of the 100 people were in the danger zone. So the average year is going to be 42.5% of Pepperdine students maybe have a problem with having too many meal points in their accounts. And the reason that this is an issue is because when the students have these extra points, they begin, uh, they begin to change their behavior. They start overspending, and that can be overeating, and they just become, above all, more wasteful. And the reason why this is negative is because in uh, an article on Psychology Today by Dr. Gordon, it stated that um, when you're in a stressful environment, such as the environment that we are right now academically, the prefrontal cortex is not as aware to uh, problems or to being aware of overeating or overspending. So that can lead to habits or addiction. And um, when you pair that with information from the Rochester University, uh, health encyclopedia, you're able to know that at the age of 25 is when your prefrontal cortex is most developed. And before that, um, which is the age of most first and second year students here that have the biggest problem with the meal points, um, you can make irrational decisions and uh, bad habits can be formed. And the quote that Dr. Vernon used to illustrate this was, a habit is a cable and each day it weaves a thread. 
Eventually, it is so strong the cable can be impossible to break. So basically, this overspending could be bad because it might uh, lead to some psychological disorders or maybe and some bad habits that could be carried on to the future, and we don't want that for our student body. Um, okay, so students are wasteful because of school policy. In an interview I did with Hannah Novak, the HRL uh, administrative assistant, she stated, she stated that the reason why Pepperdine students that are living in towers or sweet style housing, which are freshman houses, have to pay a minimum is so that they can guarantee a certain profit for the third party food provider and server, Sedexo. Um, but the interesting thing about this is that this minimum that they require from each of their students guarantees that revenue. So we have to think, well, there must be something extra, something left over. And there is. In the Pepperdine graphic, wrote a couple years ago in an article uh, titled, Where Do Your Point, uh, I apologize, uh, Where Did My Points Go? It stated that 83% of these points go to Sodexo, and then 17% is given back to Pepperdine. And Pepperdine claimed that they use it to cover overhead costs and to break even. So, like our food, when we pay for meal points, we're not paying for Pepperdine to break even and stuff that has nothing to do with our food. Like, that's kind of strange. So, what is my plan and how will it work? The plan that I devised is called uh, Meal Points for Posse. And uh, basically, it's the ability for Pepperdine students to use their excess points to roll over for Posse scholarship holders. And a Posse scholarship holder is someone here at this college. Uh, that has worked with the Posse Foundation to gain a uh, full tuition merit-based scholarship. And um, a Posse uh, makes up, it's a group of 10 people from this region. Each There's 57 colleges that are part of this foundation, and they each serve to the Posse Foundations that are in the area. So Pepperdine only serves the LA Posse Foundation. So they get 10 multicultural students to form one Posse, to a group of 10 people, to go through all four years of schooling here at Pepperdine and there's one posse per grade. So Pepperdine puts aside around, oh wait, let me do this first, even more numbers. So uh, with information that I gathered on collegefactual.com, it stated that the tuition is around $48,000 last year, and with 3% increase due to inflation, we can assume that's around $50,000. So the, uh, the tuition that they put aside for these 40 members is around $2 million for just this year alone, and that's very generous. But when they get here, they still have to base a $13,000 bill for housing and uh, for room and board, and that's very big, uh, especially coming from lower socioeconomic levels. Um, so, um, basically, this meal points or posse is going to roll over our meal points, $250 per semester for first and second year posse members that have to pay this uh, minimum amount of meal points. Um, to get this aid, we'll give them $500 per year, and it'll be realistic with 20 members if they're living in towers or suite style housing. So it's around $10,000 of aid given from the student body to the students uh, through the posse student scholarship holders. Um, by going through meal points, uh, for Posse, we're also going to be looking out to the Pepperdine mission. And that is stated as uh, Pepperdine is a Christian university committed to the highest standards of academic <coughs> excellence and Christian values, where students are strengthened for lives of purpose, service, and leadership. Now think about it. We want our meal points to have a purpose. And we're using this purpose to serve our own community, the underprivileged in our own community. And we're becoming all leaders by standing up against administration and letting them know where we want our points to go. So how is this going to change life on Pepperdine? Basically, um, this policy will reduce the end of the year meal point spending hysteria here at Pepperdine. Because the meal points are going to hold a new meeting now. They're, it's not, uh, they're, if we don't use them, they're worthless now. They, don't, they just vanish into midair. They are now going to a charitable cause. So you can, students will reduce their overspending, overeating, and they won't uh, form these bad habits. And the student body was going to be more intimate. Many people don't know about the Posse Scholarship, but now you're all educated on it, and we can spread the word. And when those students know that we're trying to look out for them and give them financial aid, because uh, we know that the prices here are very expensive, then we're just going to be more intimate as a, a, a whole. Um, also, first and, second, first and second year students here at Pepperdine that have to pay this minimum amount for meal points might feel like they are 
like bound to Pepperdine. Like they can't leave because they have to get through all the meal points. They can't explore the their new city socially. So with this new opportunity, um, they will be able to not look at that having to eat as much at Pepperdine, but they can go out and explore new restaurants with new friends. And in an article by Centennial College called The Importance of Being Social in College, there's a lot of different benefits from this. You can become social and take your mind off school. You reduce stress. Um, you can improve your study because you find these groups, form study groups, and learn new ways to study and improve your academics. You can create college, uh, connections for future jobs, and uh, you also can fine tune your social skills for your adulthood. Um, as I've laid out, meal point, uh, it's important to use meal points for Posse to benefit both Posse scholarship holders and um, and uh, <laughs> the rest of the student body. Uh, meal points for Posse is going to be important to strengthen our community, and also is important to fill out uh, fulfill the Pepperdine mission of becoming leaders and telling administration what we want with done with our money. Um, all that is needed for you is to act. You can go log on uh, to iPetition.com, search for meal points for Posse, and you're going to find my petition. This online petition will bring us one step closer to improving school policy for the better. And um, and so it's our money, it should be our choice. So nobody that has $1,054.34 is gonna feel like they're panicked, like they have to change, and they have to get through all their points and they have to eat more. And, um, and in the words of uh, Robert Kennedy, the future is not completely beyond our control. It is the work of our own hands. Thank you.